join us don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to also click on the notification bell so that you can get more videos from us question 46 says the table below shows the cost of breakfast in the restaurant now that's the table it says a group of 40 students took breakfast in the restaurant four people took tea with fried eggs five people took cocoa with chapati and the rest took cocoa with sandwich how much money did they pay all together now notice that the total students total it's what 14 now four students took what uh tea with fried egg that's multiplied by tea and fried egg gave us what 40 and that's a 160 then the next one says five students five pupils took cocoa with chapati cocoa with chapati is 55 now this is going to give us on um, 275 now they said the rest the rest took cocoa with sandwich now if we want to get the rest we will say 14 minus 4 plus 5 which will give us what now um this would be 14 minus 9 which is what 5 people so the rest is 5 people so 5 people took cocoa with sandwich now cocoa with sandwich gives us 80 5 times 80 that will give us what 400 so if we want to get the total they spent we'll do 160 plus 275 plus 400 now when you sum this up you are going to get 835 shillings so the correct answer here it's um, d so I'll mark my d question 47 says in the figure below pqrs is a parallelogram line line qp and rt are parallel line rq and sp are parallel angle qrs is 50 degree and angle r QT it's 70 degree. What is the angle size of angle PQV? Now the first thing you need to know is that angle PQV is here. This is what we are looking for. So in order to solve this, look at this. This is 50 degree here and this is 70 degree. Now I want you to know that this line is parallel to this line. So the first thing you need to know that angle in a um a triangle, the sum angle is what? um 180 degrees so let's find here let's call here x so now this is going to be 70 plus 50 plus x will be what 180 this is what some angles of a triangle so this is some angles of a triangle that's the reason whenever you sum up the angle of a triangle you get what 180 degrees so this is going to be 120 plus x equal to 180 so for x will be what 180 minus 120 that will give us 60 degree now from your corresponding and um, your alternate angles you see that here is equal to here the reason is because they are what alternate angles so x is equal to angle p q v which is what 60 degree so the reason is because they are alternate angles so the correct answer is what a so now take us to question 48 which says 24 men working at the same rate can finish a job in six days eight men fail to turn up to do the job how many more days will the remaining men work at the same rate to finish the same job now 24 men can do this job uh can 24 men will do will do one job in six days okay in six days so how long will it take one man this is 24 men therefore one man it will be 24 multiplied by six now um when it will take one man 24 multiplied by six now notice it says eight men fail to turn up now, if 8 men fail to turn up, that means it will be 24 minus 8. The people who did the job are 16 men. Now, let's check how long it will take the 16 men to do the job. For 16 men to do the job, 16 men, it will be 24 times 6 divided by 16. Now, I think 4 can divide. 4 here is going to be 4. 
four and twenty four is going to be six. So uh, we'll have um, six times six. This is what thirty six divided by four. So this is going to give us for sixteen men that will do the job in um, nine days. Now the question says, how many more days will the remaining men work? Recall that twenty four men were supposed to do the job, but now sixteen men did it. If 24 men can do it in 6 days, 16 men can do it in 9 days. So it will take them 9 days minus 6 days. So it will cost them 3 extra days. So the correct answer here is going to be what? A. So that will take me to question 49, which is the figure below shows a pattern of shapes. Now let's study the shapes. Okay, so it says which one of the following shapes should be drawn in the next box to continue. Now let's check. Here this appears first, here this appears second, here this appears third. That means it's going to appear fourth here. So fourth is going to look like this. It's going to look like this. So let's check from our option. This is wrong. Um, this is wrong. So we have these two. So this is correct. This is correct. Now let's check another pattern. So this pattern with this circle, okay, so this is first, here a second, this is third, this is fourth. So here is going to be what? First. So the one that has the circles, the blacks. So it's going to, the ones that have the circles. So I think this is correct and this is correct. So Let's check the third option. This is um, um, the black. So this is one second here. This is fourth. This is first. So the black is going to be second. The one with the black is going to be second. Now when we look, is second here and is wrong here. So if you check for this, this will be first. And last here, this will be first. This will be second. So this one is going to be Third here, so you can see this is the correct option. So I'm going to circle my D. So that's the correct answer. So I'm um, for the last but not the least. So this question says the graph below shows a journey of a motorcycle from home to town. On the way, he got a puncture and stopped to repair it. He then continued with the journey. To town, what was his average speed for the whole journey? Now, all you need to know is uh, average speed is total distance over total time. Now, having established this, all you need to do is to check his distance. Now, okay, watch. His distance he moved from here to this place that means at this place he had covered 30 kilometers now notice at this point his distance is not increased this is where he stopped spending um, 11 a.m. to 11 30 he spent 30 minutes to fix it so this is 30 now down to this place he covered the total distance of 120 okay so that's 120 kilometer divided by now. Let's check his time. So his time, it's um, from 8 to 9. That's one hour. This is two hours. This is three hours. Now notice this point. He did not make any progress in distance. So we're not going to count this time. So this is three. Then from here to here, it's four. From here to here, it's five hours. This is six. This is seven hours. This is seven hours, 30 minutes. And seven hours, 30 minutes is 7.5 hour. So if you do 120 divided by 7.5, you are going to get 16 kilometer per hour. So our correct answer here, it's going to be D. So as easy as that, you can solve the KCPE questions. If this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can get more videos from us.